Guys, I thought it was an opportunity that shouldn't go by without just a few words being said. Not terribly formal, but you know, at the AGM when it was announced that uh, TR Register Ireland had been voted Club of the Year, um, Chris Cunnington knew that there wasn't unfortunately anyone there at the time because they don't reveal it until the AGM. And he asked me if I'd be kind enough to receive it on your behalf and I immediately volunteered to bring it over when we were visiting our family in Clontarf and represent it to you. And it is a great honour to do that because I need to pay some tributes because as a club you work so hard. It's the first time that your name has appeared on this trophy. I don't suspect for one moment it will be the last. Uh, you work terribly hard. Last year when TS2 was over here, large chunks of its history were filled in. Pat worked tirelessly, and, and I think Sean I should Conner. pay. Well, and Sean, others, yeah, I should pay tribute to you as well for all that you've done. Um, she's a wonderful car. She's given me the opportunity to feel an adoptive member of your group. But the one person that I'd also like to pay tribute to, and um, not many people know this story, is my wife Chrissy, who's enjoying a coffee over there. She won't thank me for saying this, but you know, I bought the car in '76 in Northern Ireland. I'd saved it from being hacked about and turned into a, an SS Jaguar look-alike. And I'd started the restoration full and full of ambition and enthusiasm and absolutely no money in my pockets whatsoever. <laughs> Two children. We know that we have four children. <laughs> <laughs> and while the, re the roles over the years reversed slightly, um, the enthusiasm did fade a bit. Um, the money might have been more plentiful, but it, it, it wasn't sufficient, I can assure you. It was Chrissy who said, you know, something has to be done. This car cannot be left in my garage. And it, as, as Bill Piggott, when he collected it, wrote, it was literally cocooned in like a mezzanine floor so that the actual floor space was not deprived from storage in the garage. So here was the car in effectively a, 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 an empty sided box with a floor and everything stacked on top of it. And, you know, it was Chrissy who persuaded me something should be done. And it was Chrissy who really is responsible for the car being as she is today, being over here last year, back in her homeland uh, for anniversaries. And, of course, she came over in 2003, 2003. for her 50th anniversary. So I, I did want to pay public tribute to her, which is something that I've not had the opportunity to do before. Well, well, we give her a clap. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want this back next year? <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I want, I want you to, to keep it. Um, you will, I say. I'm sure your name will appear on there in the future. Yes. And I know these decisions on Club of the Year are not made lightly. Um, and I don't think there was any doubt in those that judged it that it should go to you. It it's probably cost Todd quite, quite a few bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all I can say I got a is... I've got to say Peter Fulton. I've got a brown arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a bad guy. And I look forward to continuing my association as one of the trustees of TS2 with you. Um, I know how much you enjoy the car. I know how much she means to you as a group and, and, and to, as a nation as well. And um, It's one you. of the most famous Irish registered cars, period. Yes. I mean, there's lots of them out there, but it's way up in the top. But that's really all I wanted to say, and it's such a pleasure to join you. Thanks for, for inviting us to do this. It's been wonderful to come over. And now your question and answer, Star. Thank you very oh, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three before.
Lord, he drives an MGB or big EV. TR man, please listen to your holes. Listen, TR man, it's time to install it. That was TR Man.